are you shooting for? What we're shooting for is the, is the gradual but continuing transformation of, of the, uh, the core of how we discuss, talk about politics and political philosophy and the relationship of individuals to the government. Okay. That takes a long time. In what way? What would you, what, it, with the ultimate goal of what? The ultimate goal is to is to have a is is to make sure people understand the founding principles of this country, and those founding principles may be well known. There's key phrases that we all know, but the thinking behind them, I think, we tend to forget about because we know the phrases so well. The there's a reason why Jefferson said the pursuit of happiness instead of property, which was the popular phrase of the day: life, liberty, and property. Pursuit of happiness may include the pursuit of private property, but it goes far beyond that. There's, there's a school of thought that says that he chose that because property was so, so closely associated with uh, slavery and he didn't want to kind of codify the idea of, of owning another human being, so he chose, chose that. That may have been part of it, but I believe that there, there was more to that. The pursuit of happiness, there's a Harvard researcher named Nancy Etkoff who begins a fantastic TED.com talk by saying we are wired to pursue happiness and the way she phrased that's very important she didn't say we are wired to be happy we're, but we're wired to pursue happiness and she went on to say not only achieve it but to pursue it again and again to continue to go after happiness we know from neuroscience and psychology that that a person who's paralyzed and a person who wins the lottery one year after that event will have an equal degree of happiness. Because happiness is, we, we're driven to, to want to better ourselves and the world around us. The pursuit of happiness, and Jefferson couldn't have known this because we didn't have the, the, the science at the time, but he was right, he was way ahead of his time. The pursuit of happiness is as important a right to human beings as the right to defend ourselves from attack. Going back to that idea of of the negative emotions prevent us from being eaten by tigers and positive emotions prevent us from becoming tigers. If we're denied the pursuit of happiness, we're denied the, the, the right not to become miserable creatures. Miserable to ourselves and mi miserable to those around us. In, in the old Soviet Union in Moscow, they did make sure that everybody had their basic needs met and everyone I've ever met who lived through that era in, in the Soviet Union said life was just miserable, everybody was unhappy. They squabbled, they complained. It was, it was, it was, it was like being a, a, be existing but not being alive. That's what happens when government tries to replace our pursuit of happiness with their idea of happiness. Until we establish a good understanding of how important the pursuit of happiness, the right, the unfettered right to pursue happiness, so long as it doesn't deny someone else their right to pursue happiness, until we understand that, we're in danger of losing that and living the way the Moscovites lived for 70-something years.